Chinese water torture is one of the most infamous torture methods in the world. The slow dripping of water onto your forehead while you're restrained has been known to drive people to insanity. Some also say that if you do it for long enough, the water droplets can create a painful blister, which can become a hole in your skull. And when YouTubers have put themselves through Chinese water torture, they've really suffered. Oh. Oh. I don't like it but it's literally just water dripping. How is it so scarily effective? Or is everyone just full of shit? In my research for this video, there have been lots of surprises. The first one, Chinese water torture isn't even Chinese. Historians think it was invented back in the 15th or 16th century by an Italian lawyer named Hippolytus de Marcellus, and the Chinese part of the name was added later to make it more intriguing and mysterious. Legend has it, Hippolytus observed how water dripping slowly onto a stone eventually created a hollow. He concluded that the same process applied to a person's forehead would really mess them up. Is that really where his mind went to? Weird. Anyway, you might be wondering at this point, if there was continuous dripping of water onto your forehead, could it make a hole, like this stone being eroded? You're not the only one with this question. There's literally an entire Reddit thread about it. And when they tested Chinese water torture on Mythbusters, it was intriguing. Adam, who was one of the guinea pigs, said that after a few hours, he did feel pain and pressure on the spot of his head where the droplets were hitting. I feel like, you know, someone's got their finger on this spot on my forehead. But if we think about human biology, we're constantly shedding dead skin cells and then replacing them. That means that water dripping on the same spot wouldn't make a hole. Maybe though, if it were an extreme version of like a, a high pressure hose. Anyways, Chinese water torture probably won't hurt you too much physically, but what about mentally? According to psychologists, the impact can be devastating. And surprisingly, it comes down to the way the water drips. If the water droplets have a regular timing, drip, 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 drip. You can kind of tune them out and they become part of the background. But if the droplets are irregular, you can't ignore them. You also can't leave or distract yourself with anything. So you become hypersensitive to the feeling of the droplets on your skin and the sound. Also, there are a bunch of studies in animals and humans showing that when a stimulus is unpredictable, it makes us more anxious. You naturally want to predict when the next droplet will come. And when you're not able to do that, you get really freaked out, even though it's literally just water. And over time, these psychological effects get worse and worse. You become disoriented and fearful. Maybe you experience delusions and hallucinations. Maybe you lose touch with reality entirely. But this is based on theory. I couldn't find much information about where Chinese water torture has been used and what happened to the victims. And while people have tested out, for example, in these YouTube videos, they've been doing it with a friend and they've been at home and they're supervised at all times and they know that they could shut the experiment down the second they get too uncomfortable. And it's the same if scientists wanted to test out Chinese water torture in an experimental setting. They'd need to get informed consent from participants, they'd need to constantly monitor them, and they'd need to shut down the experiment as soon as anyone experienced significant distress. It's profoundly different to being a prisoner with no control over the situation. So there's a lot about Chinese water torture that will probably remain a mystery. Anyways, don't forget to subscribe for more weird and wacky science. For example, what happens to your bodily functions in space or the surgeon who killed his patient. Thank you.